uh, wave defenses are working again. And we got a nice little comp chest for that. Again, mixed feelings about the comp chest. Higher level players who normally run, you know, get to wave 10, hated the comp chest because they only got 15,000 credits and they're like, well, that's like, you know, four runs for me, basically. And this thing was shut down for, you know, over a week. Lower level players who could only get, you know, to wave three or four before they die, who are only getting maybe a thousand credits, are like, wow, 15,000 is awesome. I can get at least one favor, or I can save all that stuff and I can get multiple uh, days worth of refinery pulls to get dolomite or to get, you know, um, building materials to upgrade the facade. So. Can't please everybody. They kind of had to split the difference. What did you guys think of the comp chest? Did you think it was it was it was decent? It was it was a good amount. They're being cheap. That's way more than you normally get. <laughs> I kind of feel like depending on where you are level-wise and what your nor your normal experience is based on your alliance kind of is going to influence how you feel about it, but I'm curious. Everyone should have gotten Quick Start if you didn't have it already. I think that's highly accurate. That's only about, what, 9,000, 10,000 to get Quick Start. It was a good investment for sure. I recently had already had it, so I didn't need to spend on that, so. Oh, we can do my Borg refinery here. Nice. Take some more of this stuff. Krista, you bought level 1 and level 2 of the Disco Warp Range Prime? Shame. 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 Just curious, how come? Do you really warp your disco further than you can normally reach? Or is it just a matter of you don't feel like waiting 9 or 10 minutes for it to fly all the way to some of these G5 spaces and stuff like that? Comp was a big deal for low G3 people? Absolutely. It was, hey, here's at least one free uh, favor, possibly two, depending on where you were at with credits. You might have gotten two unlocked. You might have gotten, I think that's what I did on this account. I had a little bit of credits, and I think I used a 15,000. I think I got um, hull health and mitigation. So you can jump summon your Corvus to level 60 armadas. Okay. What'd that cost you? $70? Was it 20 and then 50? I don't know what they cost. I could go look it up. Oh, it was 50 and 100. Hmm. Well, I mean, hey, that's your choice, your decision. If you feel like it's going to add value to your gameplay experience and you spend a good amount of time playing this game, well, then that's what you've invested in. Napalm's going for the Dolomite and Faction Rep pulls. Hey, you can keep doing that too. Ideally, the thought process would be is if the favors make it easier for you to get further, you know, instead of dying on tier three or wave three, you die on wave four or wave five. Now, every day you're getting more credits, which would then let you consistently make other pulls and pull Dolomite and pull faction rep and pull building materials and stuff. But 
there's obviously also the immediate need if you're like, well, hey, I only need to get six or seven days worth of pulls and I can do this prime research that's going to make my ship cheaper to upgrade, which means you might then get a tier higher and live longer in those fights. There's the flip side of that coin. Nomad, you were okay with it, but you're getting to level wave tens with your alliance, so it seemed cheap. Yeah. Again, if you can get to level ten because your alliance is good, you get thirty-seven hundred credits. So. Yeah, I mean four waves equals about fifteen thousand credits. Ace, you were tempted as well by the disco warp, but if you're gonna spend, you might as well get Janeway. All right. Gaza thinks it was also fair. Nobody got blamed for cheating. Well, that's also a plus. Everyone got the same amount. You would have gotten more if it had been working, but you were also okay with the break for not doing it for a while. Okay. And that's reasonable. You got a couple of days off to focus time on other stuff, and you got 15,000 credits. Now, obviously, it puts you behind. You know, some for some people, it wasn't the credits, right? It was the time. Because if you weren't able to do them and you were out of credits, per se, that was a week you were sitting there not getting Sloan Shards or not getting Dolomite Particles. I'm letting mine um, carry over until tomorrow so I can get my timers back in, in line. Because obviously once they fixed waves and turned it on, when I pulled these the first day, it was like 5 o'clock. I'm like, I'm never going to remember to keep pulling these in, in the middle of the afternoon while I'm at work. So I should just let them go until tomorrow <laughs> and then I'll pull them tomorrow morning but mm -hmm. to use a five-year-old ship money required I think it's only like I think the discovery is only like a three-year-old ship but yes it's a very valid point Hypodermics, I miss your... Oh, if I answered your question earlier, what would I get done first, the Pylum to Tier 9 or the Talios to Tier 9? I think I would probably take... What, your Ops 49? Are you planning on staying there for a while? No. Where's the... Where, what are the Ops locks on the Talios? We were just talking about this. You can finish... You can move it up. You're staying at 49 for a few more months. So you can't go... You can't finish that tier until you move up. Right? Because the final component, you have to get the 50. You'll have the one part left, right? So go ahead and do the pylum now. And then while you're working on other stuff, you can save the materials for your Talios. And then once you are ready to move up to Ops 50 in a couple of months, You'll probably have the other materials available to uh, make the jump. And get the Talios working. Nomad, you like the live streams better than YouTube? Well, yeah, it's more interactive. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm pretty good in descriptive in the videos a lot of times about giving information about stuff. But if you're actually here on the live stream, you can ask questions in real time and get an answer just like that. And, and I think everyone here will agree. I very, very rarely say, I don't know. Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> we'll circle back to that. Let's put a pin in that and we'll come back to it later. Shut up, Net. Don't ruin my secrets. Pay no attention to that man over there. Yes. All of you, there's seven of you who are all plants who you just ask pre-recorded messages or pre-approved questions that I've sent out to you already. And then...
Yeah, I can't get this component until I get the pylum to tier 6, I believe. And then I'll go up two levels. Okay. I'm not actually real, I'm just full AI. Uh-oh, Big Papa Bear 81. Congratulations, you are follower number 1,000. Although somebody, I think, just unfollowed to get me back to 999. Oh, no, there it goes. It just didn't catch up yet. So congratulations. Thank you very much for the follow, and congratulations and thank you to all of you for being here week after week, night after night, and helping us get all the way to 1,000 followers. Thank you. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you. Well, you can watch the YouTube video later if you missed it because of ads. Which, if you were subscribed to the channel, you wouldn't have to worry. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course. Thanks for being here. First time chatting. Awesome. Thank you, Bel Air. And cheers to all of you. We hit a thousand. We hit a thousand. Pew, 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 pew. There you go. There's your new meme. Clip it. Time to unfollow. There you all go. 999, 998, 997. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Napalm, you're on. Hang on a second. We'll, we'll circle back to that in just a second. May I get a thousand more? That would be nice. Only time will tell, right? Some people get there fast, some people get there slow, but I've been very happy with the progress we've made on this channel over the last uh, 25 months. And uh, the content we've produced from it and the fun conversations that we've had. And all the other goofy shenanigans we've gotten up to from time to time. So thank you guys. <laughs> 